One of the most frequent questions that I get is how do I build a career in cybersecurity? Most of the times the question is asked by freshers. Now guys, let's face it. When you go out in the market, the first question they will definitely ask you is, do you have experience? Then they'll ask you, do you have a certification? And then you'll say no. And then they'll say, okay, you can apply later or simply they won't even get back to you. And then you'll keep on wondering like what went wrong and how I can improve myself. I probably miss a kind of a degree in cybersecurity and that's how you start searching for uh, maybe a master's degree in cybersecurity or maybe you start searching for professional certification or some advanced training etc but believe me one thing in the cybersecurity is certain practical experience is far greater than any kind of training or certification which means that if you want to build a career in cybersecurity you should have a hands-on experience. Now you will ask me a question like, who's going to give me experience when I'm not qualified to get the job? I mean, I'm still a fresher and it's kind of a vicious cycle, but here we are going to end it. So I'm going to explain five different career options for you if you are a fresher and if you want to get started in the cybersecurity industry. So first and foremost, the first thing that I put on the list is software testing. The reason why I put software testing as the first option here is because that is very close to the most prominent cybersecurity career out there, penetration testing. You can develop your skill of breaking software, finding bugs into systems, and it can be UI UX bugs, business logic bugs, and as time passes, you can learn how to find out security bugs and this skill of yours you can develop by giving like 10% extra. This will definitely help you in transitioning your career from a software tester to a penetration tester. The second option is tech support. Now you see when you are providing technical support, one out of a hundred times you will face an incident of hacking where the website or the server has been hacked. These kind of small incidents would uh, definitely make you interested into how this hacking thing happens and what you can do in order to avoid such incidents in the future. This will help you go in uh, incident response. Well, it's a huge career out there in the incident response which is not like something like penetration testing the third option obviously would be programming why it is important is because as a security expert you are supposed to know programming so you know there's no option if you really want to grow as a security expert you need to learn software development first because uh, if you are able to understand the entire software development life cycle right from analyzing the requirements to publishing the code online you will be able to understand where the security gaps can can happen that's what uh, most application security engineers do so that could really be a great step in pushing your career forward the fourth option and probably also my favorite because I started my career that way is called teaching now you know why teaching it's very simple when you are teaching you are able to grasp more and more because you have to be totally clear about the things in your mind before you try to show it to someone else. You don't even need to teach at a university or something. You can just get started with a YouTube video, learn something from a tutorial online and then start creating videos and uh, share them in your group of friends and see how it works out for you. That should help you understand as well as advance very quickly compared to every other options that I've stated earlier. And finally, five bug hunting. Now, this is my last preference because I won't actually promote bug hunting only because if you had done it five years ago, it would have been great. But now in 2020, it's really too late for you because there are a lot of bug hunters out there, a lot of duplicate bugs and uh, there are chances that you may get disappointed or depressed rather than getting encouragement. So I will put this at the last option 
again this is my own personal preference you might build a successful security career from bug hunting but then again it's a very subjective opinion these are the five options that i think might help you if you are a fresher and you are struggling to build a career in cyber security if you have any questions about how to get started with either of the options please drop me a comment or follow me on twitter and yes subscribe to my channel where i'll be sharing my thoughts on cybersecurity technology and everything else